It's Sunday. Why yelling? Nice. Nice and fast. Just like your sex life. Hey, yo. You really thought that was it, huh? It's pretty good. Yeah. It's like an amateur joke, though. <laughs> it's good timing. Good delivery, good timing. It's good. It was, dude, good it delivery is, and timing. I'm going to melt not, by the end of the show. You're going to melt? You're yeah. really hot right now? It's sweltering. But Which, don't turn. Don't Take it off. Take it all off. <laughs> Look like Rick Ross without a bra. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That'd be sick. How's the game? Uh, honestly, it was horrible. Like to go to? I mean, the experience was great, yeah. but like a lot of energy. The, I mean, did you watch the game? I did. It was it was like the worst best. It was the worst like team game I've ever watched. Like I've watched. How did they get so? The well, West I told West you West last. Uh, they weren't getting out. They no, weren't they getting were out. Horrible. Yeah. It was like it was like every time every time they scored a bucket, you could just feel like the collective Madison Square Garden ready to go on a roll. Next play would be like turnover. Atlanta so many turnovers. Three. It, it was just like the sloppy. They never got a. They. I don't think they went on. I don't think they went on a four zero run the entire game. Nothing. Yeah, like five zero out of question. I watched the last two quarters and I was just like, oh, those at least at halftime they were down like five and we we're like, yeah. okay, like we're playing horror. They were down I, twelve the whole time at third and fourth. We were yeah, we were like in the game for the first and second quarter, and you look up and they show the percentages that the team is shooting and it's like Atlanta Hawks two percent from three. And they're up like six points, and we're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like, it's just a matter of time before they start draining it. Um, yeah, I mean, otherwise, of course, it was fun. It was, um, it was cool to see. Like, I, you know, I haven't seen a lot of like basketball games in person. We had good seats because we went with Jack Settlement. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah, I was confused how you were down that low. Yeah, me and Snacks were going to go to the game. Uh, I know Jack is like a big Knicks fan. He has season tickets for the regular season. Oh, he does. Which means he gets to buy playoff tickets at face value. It's not hit, It's not the same seats I don't think he gets, but uh, he had four of them. So I hit him up. I was like, you go to the Knicks game? And I just figured like, hey, I'll, uh, you know, we can like pregame before or some shit. Yeah. And he was like, oh, well, my friend who would normally come with us isn't going to, I don't know if he's going to come. So like we might have two tickets for you. And I was like, oh, perfect. Me and Snacks will go with you if that's the case. So we got tickets for 275 as opposed to like having to get them for like 350 plus the yeah, to bullshit all and be all the way up. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, really, really good seats. Did Animal go? Animal didn't go. I, was so I thought he went. He was like with you guys. Well, we filmed. What, what happened was we were going to film Fade the Public Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. But then Snacks was like, oh, I got to be in the city to work Wednesday. Plus, we're going to the Knicks game already. Yeah. So let's just film. So we filmed right before. They came in, the snack, uh, animal came in at like 4, 4.30. We filmed Fade the Public like 5.30. As soon as we were done, we went. Jack came in, filmed with us, Fade the Public this episode. Okay. Um, and then we went right to MSG after that. That must have been so depressing for Animal. Just like. <laughs> yeah, the other thing the is. Subway the, with you guys to MSG and just keep going. <laughs> yeah. He can't, he, I, the, they're like sectioned off, though, for vaccine versus non. Like, he's mm. not vaxxed anyways. So okay. it's like he couldn't have sit, sat with us and like God. hung out oh, with us wow. anyways. Um yeah, but it was like it was crowded. It was packed. It felt like COVID never fucking hit the entire. It looked packed. That was like the entire confused. garden was packed. Yeah, it was nuts. And how was uh how was snacks? Last uh, uh, Yankee game, he get kicked out. I would say things. it was easily, easily by far and away the most reserved I've seen him at in New York. For what reason? Sports game. Um, I'd like to say I guess alcohol induced. You guys had the golf outing the day before. Yeah. My theory is that you guys had the golf outing the day before. I know how you guys get at that, and I figured like. It was the next day he had to work and he was just feeling really shitty from drinking so much at that. And then he would like, couldn't really get into the zone for it. Well, the day, so we had our golf outing on Tuesday, I think. And the night before fucking wasted. I like anything you? him Monday night is. Yeah. And anything he tweeted, it's Nixon seven, Nixon seven. So we texted him like, are you good? And he's like, I'm so drunk. I'm going to throw up. And then he didn't throw up, but he's like, I'm going to throw up, go to bed at eight and wake up at 6am. Totally, the next day happens, like, doesn't answer. He was supposed to come get me, but he's like, oh, I got something to do. It's like, yeah, dude, you got something to do at 7 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> before the golf. I was like, no. And, like, we were just fucking with him. But he got, he got in. What time the golf was supposed to start? Uh, like, 11. But, like, they had to come get me in Montclair and then drive back and pick, okay. like, everybody else up. But what was funny is George came to get me. I asked him to be a groomsman. I gave him rumple mints. <laughs> and then George is like, what am I going to do with this right now? Like, why today? Like, you know, <laughs> it was pretty funny how yeah. he said it because he didn't want any. So we put it in the back seat. Is that's, comes. I feel like that's unlike Steen. I'm surprised he didn't just rip it for the golf outing. Uh, I mean, he did rip it. Yeah. At one, like once he parked his like Five car. minutes later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, so before he, a little orange juice. To yeah. Fucking so mix it, it was the funny part was it wasn't open. It was in a bag. It was in a back seat. We go get is. Is comes in like just yelling. Like about like the Nixon seven and also we had like not someone on our uh foursome in the car. He's like, Why is he here? He's dying to me. Like Who was it? I don't even remember. It was like like Joey Buno. I don't even remember. Like uh -huh. I don't even know who it was. And then he comes in, he goes, Rumblements? 
opens it up and just starts drinking it. Snacks? Yeah. <laughs> We're like, snacks. What the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus Christ. And he like breaks the cap so it doesn't close anymore. So you got absolutely obliterated Tuesday. It we yeah, we got after it, but then it instead of a four hour game, it was like we got there at eleven. We didn't live to seven PM. Like with a raffle. Like it was such a like a bottleneck to golf. Uh, like after like fourteen holes, I was like, I'm over this. I want to go home. This fucking sucks. I want a griddle in the raffle. Sick. Like a portable griddle. I feel like that's Heather, I feel like I would have been like pissed. I'd be like, oh, I have to take this home now. I was pumped. I really wanted it. Only that. thing I really wanted, it had awful raffles. We we sucked. We were doing well, but then you saw obviously you suck snacks was fucking ripping rumple mints. I kept looking at his form. He's he looks so old when he, he golfs. So frail. Yeah, he looks like he's gonna I've seen the videos of him. I thought it was a joke the first time <laughs> I saw him swing. I'm like, dude, this is like he he he's look like he's aging. It, it's like uh Benjamin Button? Yeah, it's almost like PGA, like you know, you create a character. Yeah. And it's almost as if you're like doing the age scale like <laughs> rapidly and snacks is just like hunching over as you're doing the age scale thing it's disgusting it's wild yeah so my theory was that he got so fuck like bombed up monday tuesday night yeah by wednesday he just like didn't have it in him he just kept saying he was really nervous which like i'm sure is the case but like it was not it was not a peak snacks performance at all like how do you get nervous of a game do you ever get nervous watching some a game like i don't get nervous uh i get excited like i could understand why he would get nervous but i don't know they've sucked for the last three games like there's no like going in i knew someone who's like i mean there are people that are way bigger sports fans than us so i can understand why they would get nervous and it was like he's a big sports fan for everything though did you see the video the trey young video after outside of msg it looks like my dad's dick i I was like we walked right by those people recording all that shit yeah Yeah. and there was like uh, you know andrew schultz the comedian Walked right by. He was like two people behind us as we were walking out. Oh, really? Yeah. And those kids were like yelling up at him, Andrew motherfucking Schultz. And I was like, oh my God. It was like, it was a wild, wild scene outside of Madison Square Garden. Wait, that was after that, that video was after the game they lost? It might've been. The Spider-Man guy? Uh, oh, I that? didn't see the Spider-Man guy, uh, but there were people filming. There were like kids getting filmed uh, outside yeah. of the Spider-Man. Not, thing too. I mean, the energy's back in New York City, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, everything's, everything's back everything's to normal. Good. You know, what's kind of annoying now though. Mm. Like, not knowing if you can have your mask on in stores and stuff. It's subjective, obviously. Each, like, store owner gets to choose whether yeah. or not you have to wear it. I'm like, oh, okay, let me, like, bring it because I'll go to, like, the bodega across the street. And I'm like, I don't really need to wear my mask, but, like, I don't want to not bring yeah. it. It's just fucking annoying. Yes, it's just an extra thing in your pocket. Yeah. I went to Stop and Shop in our town. I think it's going to be like that. Anything, like, corporate is going to be like that for a while. So what happened, first I went to Marshall's, masks a lot. You had to have a mask on. Yeah. And I go in, I'm shopping, whatever, got some sick teas. And then um, I left. I had to go to sh- the Stop and Shop. And, like, half the people didn't have a mask. And like ha- Stop and Shop? Yeah, because really? you, you didn't need to. And half the people did, had the mask. And I was just, like, so confused. When I saw non-maskers, I, like, took mine down. I was like, yo, what's up, dude? Yeah, and then, yeah, like, yeah. with the other mask, I put it back on. But I felt like such an idiot. Yeah, I, like, didn't know what to do. I'm immediately, like, if, if the store is, like, you don't have to wear it, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I'm taking it off 100%. But, like, it's just, we're still so in between. There's no actual official thing for it there is know? i mean yeah like you said a store well, they're like you don't yeah. have to wear them anymore but each store can choose so it's like i'm going to my coffee shop across the street it's like do i need to put the mask on for two seconds yeah it's so dumb go in there and then some of the guys that work there like have it under their nose so i'm like <laughs> i'm like we don't really we don't really really yeah, need we, it, we get know? you we get you yeah i don't know it's kind of annoying i feel like it's gonna be like that for a while though yeah probably, bigger i mean places. i think we're kind of ready to normalize which kind of sucks but hopefully by like new york's 50 over 50 percent vaccinated did they say or that? there might be america actually no it's probably no um, probably america i would say yeah. that also, the Javis center, the big ass hub, they're like about to shut it down. Like no one's really coming in anymore. Everyone's really? like vaccinated. Oh, yeah, I remember it's the a, first time I walked in, there was insane. It's a madhouse, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't get life right now. I'm so confused. Yeah. Um. I am pumped. Yesterday, first I want to say this: I ro- I robot movie. Overrated or underrated? I robot movie. Yeah. With Will Smith. Uh, properly rated. I think it's underrated. I knew you I were gonna wa- say that. Like, <laughs> no, anything Will Smith or Denzel related, you're automatically gonna be like underrated. I when you how you set up the question, I knew you were gonna say underrated. And you're yeah. gonna be like, I love iRobot. I didn't. Well, this I'm gonna start with this. So last night I got home and it was on, and I started watching it. I I probably watched it only like twice in my life because not one of those like big movies. But I was watching it. And I'm like, this movie's awesome. <laughs> I, I robot is that the one where it's just him and his dog left? He's like one of the last. No, people. that's I am legend, dude. <laughs> Wait, what is I robot? I robot's like literally robots, like in the like two two thousand thirty five. Everyone gets a robot. I don't really remember this movie. To we be might honest. have to watch it tonight. Yeah, we might not. Also, though, 
What are we watching Saw? New Saw. I was I was thinking about this on my way here. The news. We were big Saw fans. Huge. You remember we went? What did we go? We saw you, one, two, and three, me right? My top five movies of all time. The first Saw is in it. Incredible. It's made that big of an impact on my life. It was scary, but now it wasn't Chris even Rock- the scare. I just thought it was so original. Like I just I was like I like when movies really think outside the box like that, especially in a genre where it's hard to do that. But how did that motherfucker was just laying on the floor the whole time? Goat. How? What do you mean how? Just like, laid there. It's you easy. wouldn't think he was. You ever breathing? slept before? You think he was sleeping <laughs> while some man was like cutting his leg off? Yeah, he didn't get his own leg cut off. I guess he, the other guy cut his. We leg We might off. have to watch the first one soon. You want to just run? I think they have like seven of them now. Yeah, I have only watched the first three. First one was amazing. Second one was like good. Third one, that's where it's like. I just stop, remember like stop. the third one. There was like a girl with her titties out in an ice box, and like they like poked her nipple and like fell off. Like that's how <laughs> cold it was in there. Um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember which one. I think second one is the one where they're like, Mark Wahlberg's brother is like the main character. and they're Oh, like, he's like the detective. It's like eight of them locked in a house together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was crazy shit. And now this new one is called Spiral, and it's with Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson. Count me in. I just like don't, I don't, I, it can't flop with that, with that crew. I, a- according to all the reviews, yes. <laughs> like yeah. LeBron James type flops out here, but. It did flop. Uh, the, the, it's one of those where like the regular ratings are really bad, but mm-hmm. the audience ratings are still pretty good. Okay. That's good. I just feel like it can't be that bad if Samuel and Chris Rock are in it. Right? No, I, I, I mean, agree. it can't be, but like we're watching it tonight, right? Yeah. All right. right nice. After this, I totally forgot you can run movies. Uh, it's the only reason I, I, I originally heard about it like last week or two weeks ago and it's been in my mind like since then. Yeah. And I'm like looking up movie theaters and I'm like, Oh, I can go to the movie theater for this. And then I saw it pop up on like the Amazon box. It was like rented. I was like, oh, fucking sick. They, they, I like how they're putting out all the new movies on TV, though. Yeah. It's like kind of great. Even though it's $20. All of the fucking movie theaters, by the way, there's like five within I saw walking it, like, distance. Yeah. All like indie movie theaters. That's stupid. Between the five movie theaters, I don't think I've heard of one single movie playing at all of them. That's ridiculous. Yeah. We'd have to go up to like Union Square, or, like oh, Midtown or something. Mm. How's work been this week? Anything good? Um, How's the, like, the website and all that shit? Yeah, we were on a call this morning. It's coming along pretty well. Um, we're gonna get on a call tomorrow as well, at like three o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's coming along. I'm I'm uh, I'm happy with the progress so far. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be a nice a nice product at the end of it. What what I think I'm gonna end up doing is just keeping this this like product fantasy related and everything like lifestyle related is just gonna continue to be pushed out through content. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to like monetize or productize anything lifestyle related. It's just it's too difficult, and it's like too much of a task for for okay. for the technical side of things. Were you gonna do that? Well, I wanted to. The app that we were gonna make based off the website yeah. was gonna have like a whole lifestyle section of it. Really? Yeah, it was gonna be like. Well, my my vision of it was like one half of the app is fantasy, one half of the app is lifestyle, and that could be anything from like nutrition and fitness to fashion to tech to content creation if you want like i was gonna have it user um some user generated content like you know teach a fucking class on how to create a podcast from start to finish and then have people submit their podcasts that they created onto the app okay and then we would be able to like judge it or critique it or something like that so i really wanted to make it like an all-encompassed lifestyle yeah where you can like you know anything that you're looking for is on there we had a lot of cool ideas i think i probably told you about this or i've definitely talked about it on camera like the whole VR and AR side of things mm-hmm. that I wouldn't have even been in my head. If Mike, the first yeah. guy wasn't the one telling me like, Oh, this is possible. And I was like, yeah, we could like have people scan the different margarita items and shit. And now I've just realized how unrealistic that uh, you need like was. so much money and like an humble. Unbel- yeah. That's yeah. why I'm like, we'll table that until it's like really necessary or, you know, later on when we have fuck you money to throw around. How do you think that's affecting like you personally? And, uh, cause you always want this lifestyle brand. Yeah. I just taking a see, see, like I'm happy I'm happy or? with the content now that we have okay. one vlog coming out a week again that we have this coming out once a week again so like this is more lifestyle content than I've done in 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 a yeah. while consistently at least you know Are you still I mean? doing the monthly vlogs or you going to chop it up only for weekly now Uh well t- like Tony's got that whole project to himself so I haven't made any vlogs myself since he started doing mm-hmm. that which like I think every once in a while when I feel like an inspiration to do so uh, I'll make my own vlog or something Yeah that'll be very sporadic probably though Okay, so yeah, that's just whenever you want it. Yeah. That's good. Does Tony, I think Tony has some, like, all these clickbaits. He has me just taking L's all day. What do you mean? My, my, you dunking on me, and then me talking about jerking off. What was the jerk off? I don't for? remember, but the the title, Tony's after me. I could tell. Listen, brings in the clicks. Does it? How's that been working? Like the well. shorts and everything? 
Yeah, I forgot to put out shorts this week. I felt kind of behind on uh, on video stuff. Um, the shorts are good. I'm I'm starting to look at the analytics. They don't really bring in that much like new people mm-hmm. organically, but they still get they still get some good uh, like traction from the people that are subscribers. And I mean, if you look at the comments, they're like, "I love the shorts." So it's like, let's not try to look too far into the numbers. If people are saying it, like they like it, obviously. So I'll continue to put those out. So you've been tr- like almost getting to like 50k for some time now, right? Well. It's over the okay, so we started back up the actual fantasy content, right? Like I didn't. This off season was like not a lot of yeah. fantasy stuff, and then like three weeks ago, I was like, okay, I'm getting back to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, fantasy, Friday, fade the public. Since then, uh, we've gone from like forty six thousand, we hit forty seven thousand, we're about to hit forty eight thousand. Like we're 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 cruising right now. Oh, you we are. got a couple hundred su- new subs a day. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Is that like? A big win, or is this like you, for this time you, of the year? Yeah, it's really. Oh, good. is it it's okay? Really so, do you think which is like yeah? Look at the top number. We're like fucking right there. At, oh wow, we're close to forty. Oh years. nice, like because I was always wondering, like, do you think you're plateauing a little bit, or do you think this is the year? Because you always say next year's in this year. Um, and I know like COVID fucked that up. Based but. on what I'm looking at right now, based on what I'm looking at right now, this could be like a really huge summer. Yeah, growth wise, it should be. Yeah, if I just keep doing this, like bunch all this content coming out you know day after day after day after day i think we should grow like pretty rapidly and is this going to slow down during the season or you're still going to ramp up because like you always say like end of the year you're always like i don't know if i can do this every single day and now you're back to i feel good i feel really good about this every right now no 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 no, no. you say this the strategy the strategy yeah i'm saying is is the strategy seems strategy is good because it's only it's minimal uh monday is like a live stream easy for me tuesday wednesday thursday videos are like 15 minutes tops okay. so i've been going with shorter content yeah so which that's is, been working which cuts off like hours of research for me and also cuts off filming and editing time and stuff like that and tony is taking a lot of the editing from me off my plate mm. which means i don't it, yeah it opens up a, the the cycle that we have right now is working and it's not strenuous for me really okay yeah, that's so it's awesome. good so we're in a good we're in a good uh a good cycle right now i mean I mean, we've been doing it for almost, you know, three weeks, a month right now. I've had, like, no hiccups, really. Every once in a while, there's, like, oh, Wednesday's video has to be out, and it's Tuesday, and I haven't, like, got on top of it. But that's why, like, this weekend, I'm going to take it easy and try to get ahead on my work and be good for a while. I will say, once the draft guide has to drop on, like, July 1st or whenever we're done with the the website, which might be, like, July 10th or something, around that time might be a little bit stressful because i got to do the content on top of getting all the actual stuff into the website and draft guide and everybody else's like content is coming through nice seamless or um, some people slacking i wouldn't say i really heard uh, it was noah's st- like what, so i haven't seen him a lot on yeah noah's doing yeah. his stuff on bunk bed um i actually have to c- kind of like sit down and look at this scott actually slacked me earlier today maybe it was yesterday i'm so bad at getting back to scott on this um so he's been jumping into a lot of the 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 data, sharing some data from our non Urkelano YouTube channels and wanted to get your thoughts. My overall opinion is we're putting effort into long form content in some cases where short form would be better use of time for both the hosts and the editors or better better ROI on growth. For instance, fade the public, ten videos in the last month, twelve hundred views, gained two subscribers in a month. Bunk bed, eleven videos in the last month, twenty eight thousand views, gained one hundred and fifty nine subs in a month. Um, bunk bed breakdowns definitely has a core dynasty audience that watches the clickbait videos they perform well I just think YouTube is oversaturated on content whereas Twitter video is not YouTube shorts also isn't uh, I think if we produce a daily show with the host that was like two, two minutes 20 seconds we just answered three fantasy questions just for example um, whatever it, it would do a bunch of views on it so Scott's starting to think a little bit more outside the box the same way that I was trying to tell the guys who have like the YouTube channels with lesser volume on it right now. I've been telling, I've I've told this animal before too. Like I think animals house, if they put the time and effort into that, they do in animals house to just put those things up as like, if they, if, if you, if they were like rethink the way you're making the content Mm -hmm. and instead of being like, Oh, we have a YouTube show called animals house legitimately we have a TikTok show called Animals House. Yeah. Where they, they spend as much time doing it, but focus on creating it for TikTok instead. Mm-hmm. Like the growth would probably be a lot higher because that, that type of content they have is like perfect for TikTok. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like quick, like humorous things like it's that. It's a good you know? show. And I agree. Yeah, it's good. It's just like there, there's no organic growth in that type of show on YouTube. No, I get that. And I think I think it's probably your delivery though too because I, f- I feel like... Like me personally? 
Yeah, maybe. Like, on, maybe, like say, oh, like, the way I'm saying it to? Like, to animal. Oh, and like, that's the way I say it. No, yeah, yeah, I get yeah. that. It makes sense, like... But oh, I so feel you're like, saying like yes, that's why. <laughs> no, I feel yeah. I feel like it's kind of also like you're gonna try like you're you're crushing their passion. You need their passion to be focused too on their things, and I think they both enjoy Animal House. But you're just telling them it's like a TikTok thing and go there. Like they don't see it in that direction. But like, how can you find a happy medium on that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm I'm telling them to experiment. I've been saying yeah. this for months. And now. have they or no? Okay. Yeah, because um, I think Animal House doesn't have as good potential, but like you said, it's I, not growing I agree, on the, for sure. on the right platform. It's like, not growing on the right right platform. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it can grow on YouTube too. Yeah. I just think it's like very hard for it. Like if you know, if there was a built in audience for it, I'd be like, yeah, continue doing it because it's a good show, and I I actually love the show. I think yeah. it's like really good content. I just think like if you want to blow it up the way you would like to see it happen, like you got to think outside the box a little bit. You know? Yeah, is TikTok still big? Like people all on it. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people like are... fall, fall, Well, I don't know Clubhouse is that definitely doesn't definitely hasn't fallen off TikTok. Um, it's I mean it's just saturated now. It's yeah. harder. It's a little bit harder to grow, but it's definitely not like impossible. You mm -hmm. still put something up and have fifty thousand views on it in a second. Yeah. Um, Clubhouse. I haven't been on Clubhouse in like a month or two. Um, I don't know. I just got focused on other shit. Yeah. It was like an off season project for me to be honest with you with clubhouse. Mm -hmm. Cause it was, I was able to focus on more like business and marketing things. And then I feel like clubhouse needs to merge with LinkedIn. That would be an interesting, uh, yeah. interesting collab. Yeah. Um, it would make sense. Cause then you have like master classes via LinkedIn. Well, like every, every fucking social platform basically came out with the clubhouse feature as yeah. soon as clubhouse it was like easy became to, popular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, it was like the, it was the right content at the right time of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to talk about the industry and that's the stuff I was doing in January, February, March. You yeah. know? And now I'm back to fantasy. So like Clubhouse doesn't really have a place for me, my time. Yeah. So the summer is obviously your busy time. So are you just going to be doing anything this summer? Or are you just, I need a, you think this is the summer you need to just like I'm, saddle I'm like up? Pretty, and, I'm like pretty, um, I have like a decent amount of time. Like I could do things. Yeah. No, I'm not saying like not go, like we yeah. go out or like, eat. I'm saying like vacation. like something big? Yeah. Um, I'd be down to do something. Yeah. But like, but I don't know. What are you thinking? No, I'm just I, no. I have. I can no, do something. I have yeah. no. Idea. I can't do like a. I can't do like a week long vacation. Yeah. No, I literally can't do anything with you until August. So, uh. <laughs> I could do weekend some some weekend things prior to August. Yeah. Probably. Uh, probably. Okay, you're done. Don't have time for that. And how's the the living situation over here with uh TJ, does he want to do anything for you, or are you? Do you guys for keep? Me? Do you guys keep the, like the roommate and this side of your life totally separate? How is that working out? What do you mean? Like, does he like ask questions or wants to be involved, or he's just like strictly like no, he doing hasn't. his thing and just no, nah, he's just kind of like living in in this in he's like in the situation. He's not. He never asked to be on anything. He never, That's great. You know what? I was thinking about that the other day. It's kind of crazy how he's like living here, and like he, like literally, he'll just be like reading a book here. Like TJ, we got to fill something. Like, Right on, and he's just like, "Well, here's a, that only happens out of the entire week. That happens twice. It happens like now, and it's Friday night, so he's out already. And yeah. it happens with Fade the Public. Oh, yeah, it's true. twice a week, and I let him know. I'm like, yo, by the way, like tonight, Steve's coming over at seven, so I just I need this room. Even if he he could sit on the fucking beanbag, if you like, to. I'm my I'm so sporadic. It sucks for you guys. Uh, I, I you don't feel sporadic to me at all. Really, I feel like it's always within a one or two day period, hmm. like a one or two day window. Oh, maybe I was like I, a little bit like ah fuck Friday night like we gotta film this shit but like it's yeah not really I like had no now. choice it, yeah. and I was like telling Heather like because I was off Tuesday and Wednesday and I was like shot like I, what am I gonna do yeah yeah I was I don't know man I'm just I just keep I can't keep doing this <laughs> I can't, I can't keep living this life I can't doing what I don't know man I I've been thinking a lot I don't even, like I love Tiffany's as a company I don't know if I thought I would do retail for another, like five six years I don't know this has been eating what this you sound like me. You sound like me 20, uh, 2017, right yeah. before I left my job. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a rough, like, I'm happy in life, so it's not like, it was a good thing about it when I leave, like, and it's not like I'm, I'm miserable at work, because I'm still doing my work, and I'm still okay, like, everything, I'm not, like, angry at people or anything like that, but, like, it's I just something. there's a difference, though, something, between happiness and fulfillment, though. No, like, there's something lingering that I'm just, like, I, I can't do this. Like, I, I don't, I, my passion has, like, dwindled like to nothing for it but i love the company but i don't know if i can like survive for like i don't think i can wait for an, an outcome but i don't know what to do other than retail i don't have any like 
other skills than selling. Like, I don't, like, you give me a laptop and you told me to, like, make you an Excel sheet, I'd be like. I mean, you can get into any field you realistically wanted to, but you're going to have to start from, honestly, like, if you got a job in marketing, like, I could probably get you a job somewhere in marketing. I don't even know. Like, but, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can probably get me a job in marketing, but I don't want, like, you know, I, I, I have a problem. I just, like, assume everybody likes marketing, no, to be honest. Like, I don't like marketing. Like, I don't get it. I hate marketing. Marketing's fun. Marketing's just like working with companies and just like being like, y'all suck. Let me make you better. Yeah, literally, I would just be like this bad. for like make five me, minutes in the interview. That's a good ad. Yeah, right? It should be like the cover uh, photo for Why You Yelling. I think I've never actually... Skirt. I think I've never actually asked myself like, Steve, what do you... Like, what do you actually... If Tiffany's fired you tomorrow, what would you do? Probably cry. Yeah. And hopefully I got a nice severance. Okay. And then... um. If I sit on a couch, be unemployed, and get pretty fat for a second, <laughs> and then like literally blank, my my mind's blank after that. But like, would you? I've never thought of anything would else. You that, immediately would you immediately be like, I need to start applying for full time jobs, or would you put that energy towards like something productive, but not financially productive? Maybe. Well, we've been through like we've talked about this. Like, I don't have a passion. Yeah. To be that front guy. I'm like, I'm saying, this is what would I'm you try to find it? I don't think so. I don't like think there's I, something. There's I'm only not, one I'm, action step you could do after that. I'm not it's wi- like, I don't it's think like, I'm wired like that. I no. think if I got like five, say they like, they, Steve, we saw your wire yelling video. And you're fucking out of here. And I'm yeah. like, Zam, I think I would come here first and then we'll explain how to tell Heather because she would be a fucking mess. And then I don't know what I would do. I That's would, crazy. She would be a mess. She would be scared, you know, just scared. I don't think she would like, she would. She would just be like, fuck, what are we going to do? And I'm like. Would she think of that way as it like, why would she think of it that way? I mean, because we have like a life. We have like an apartment, like bills. She's like yeah. strictly monetary. Nothing okay. like, I don't think she would be like, you can't do this to me. Like, put it, like you know, like yeah, she would support it, me, but she also be like, but like we got this bill coming up, you yeah, know, yeah. like we're about to get married. Like this is a horror. I mean, you have savings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is like that shit. But this is also like a horrible time for me in my life to just like have this crisis, you know? Because there's no right. You think there's a good time to have something like this? Find out when you're planning a wedding and (laughs) you plan a wedding. I was already done planning it. Yeah, I'm saying like I don't know. I don't know. I I don't think I've ever like looked at myself and thought like, okay. I I think most people have this. I feel like you're probably having it at a younger age than most people do. Most people probably have this at like age forty. And you know why I think this? No. Because of me, of course. No. Oh, I thought you were going to say no. because I saw you do it when you were younger. No, because I, I don't want to do what you do. No, I know that. But I'm saying, I, the only thing I'm, re- like, I am overworking the hours I work. Like, I have no set schedule, but I don't want to get. I know it's going to sound so stupid. I don't, I just don't want to work weekends and, like, holidays. I feel like I'm missing my family. I'm like, my dad's about to move down to Florida. Like, you know, like I miss like three years that I could have been like doing shit with him, but I can't. Cause then when I am off, I'm like, Oh, let me go see Nick in the city. Cause I want to go fucking party. Cause I haven't gone and done anything three, three fucking weeks. You know? I mean, that's a very like, valid thing. Yeah. Like I have no family work friend balance anymore. Yeah. I'm pretty sure like half the reason I left my job originally, yeah. was like, I don't want to wake up in the morning. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm like, but that's what literally led me to this shit. Yeah. You, you like, you find your values, what you really, really value at the job. Here's like my piece of advice. If that's the things that are driving you right now, if like that's what you feel strongly about, like you have the option to go to your superior. You should think it out a little bit more because yeah. you need to know next steps yeah. in case they call your bluff or, or or if they're just like that's something we can't do for you. Yeah. Like you have the option to voice what you just said to me to them. Yeah. You know, and then they can decide how valuable you are you are to them and what they're willing to do flexibility wise. To keep you there and keep you happy in the job. No, yeah, no, I get you. And I could do that. But the pro, like my company, for instance, it's like two different sizes, retails and co- corporate, right? They don't really speak to each other on that. So if I go to my superior, all she knows is the retail. And for me to come bitching, like it's not bitching, but for me to come bitching to her that's been doing this for 30 years on this lifestyle, because she's okay with it, you yeah. know? Like she would just be like, she, she would understand but she like she's just be like I understand, but I can't do anything for exactly. you. Exactly, not in like a mean way. Well, just how do you, like do you, you know that for a fact. Like I've talked to her. I'm like I don't know if this is the like the path for me. And like we've talked. I I mean I have feels everywhere in Tiffany's. Like people know me and everything. But like since us getting bought out too, like it's just like no one knows what jobs are secured. You know, like I could just yeah. like take a job and then. 
Well, it's worth it's worth figuring yeah. out what your next steps would be. You you'd have to sit down and be like, okay, Tiffany's not in the picture. What am I doing next? Yeah, and I think that's what I'm stuck on, and that's what I'm trying to figure it out. Like say, like say, like worst case scenario, I got canned tomorrow. Like, where would I go? What would I do? I'm trying to figure that out. You have to have some kind of gut feeling on it. Something. I don't. Like a company, a no. job role, like literally nothing. No, I a job role I do. Like like it's a hybrid, like a operations, like kind of like director or manager of like that like does works for the retail side, but on the corporate side. Like the, the it's called like like a market manager or something like that. Um like I can do that. I, I would like to do that. Is there so what I'm 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 thinking like I've said this before, if someone reaches out to me to try to work with us, right? Like you need to show me that you can do it. I'm yeah. not, I don't I don't care about hearing that you can do something. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's a creative way for you to show your value. Like you would have to sit down and obviously figure out what company you'd want to work for in the in the intermediary, but like show your value to them by doing that job before before you have the job. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, this yeah, is what yeah, I just yeah. did like Hey, like you don't know me, but like I just got you this connection or some shit, yeah, something yeah, that yeah. I know you guys need in there that you don't have, and like I want to work with you guys, and I'm showing you that I could provide value before we go through a stupid fucking internet interview process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's like a perfect idea, and I think that's good. I'm like literally at the bait. Like this yeah. is probably sounding bad because we're just doing it publicly, yeah. but it's just like the, literally the first line. Like it's like okay, I'm feeling a certain way where it hasn't resolved itself. Like maybe like it's not it's a been sl- like this for a minute now. Yeah, though. it's not a slump, yeah. you know. But it wasn't a slump in the sense like I was angry at work, like I was angry at home. Like it was just like uh, this feels weird, you know. There was one point of frustration, but I fixed that. You feel like very unsettled. Yeah, like something's just like not fulfilling. You yeah. know, this is the first time in a while like I changed things and it, like it didn't change the fulfillment. And then I keep looking, like, like say, like, someone leaves and the next step there is open. And they're like, Steve, it's yours. I don't know if I, like, that's what stopped me the other day. Like, So do you think you feel unfulfilled just through work? Or do you think it's other things? You think there's other parts of your life that you feel unfulfilled within? And maybe work is the first place that you're looking at? And you just assume it's that? I, I think... So what I think what really freaked me out is the first time like the next position would give me like crazy money and then also like security and also like freedom I guess. What'd you say? And, the, like the next uh, oh, step. Oh, you said the, exposition. No, like next next exposition, job, yeah, yeah. which is like literally almost at my hand. Mm-hmm. And this is the first time like it probably will just land right on my lap. And I keep thinking to myself like Steve, like I don't know if you want this. This is the first time I'm like usually I'm like once I get this job I'll be happy, right? This is the first time I'm like I don't know if I even want to do this. And I think that started freaking me out. And then like talking to like my sisters and then my, like seeing my parents getting older and like seeing like what I'm missing out with you, you know, like I think in my personal life, I'm missing so much because of just like the positions I'm in and how focused I get at work that I'm like letting other things to the side, you know, like I'm, I'm letting like my life go away for just like, you know, like monetary reasons. And like, I think I, now I'm at a point where I'm like, I can get another job any like anywhere and just have the money I have and it'll be fine. But like, I, th- it's not in- that important. Like, I mean, once my dad goes to Florida and my parents go to Florida, how does I don't see them? Like your grandparents, what do you see them once a year? Yeah. Well, and like, more than, yeah, yeah. And I'm just saying point, like, yeah. you know, like once a year and then if I still work holidays, like I'm going to just miss every fucking holiday with them. You know, like I, I think I'm just getting older thinking about like the people around me. I'm yeah, like, damn, I'm just like, pe- sure. like, I didn't even know like one of my aunts had a stroke. Like, my mom was like, oh, I thought I told you, but you've been so busy, so I didn't want to bother you. I'm like, Same. That really? One, that one hit you? Yeah, and I'm like, really? Like, that's what, you, like, someone literally is in a hospital and you thought you told me, but then you also said, oh, if I didn't tell you, this is why. Yeah. So, I think then now I'm just like. I mean, yeah, here's know. here's the good thing. Like, you're still relatively very young. Yeah. You know? And, like, you can go to the next spot and be like, uh, I this is not right for me either. Go to the like, Hopping from job to job, I think, is, like, wildly... Underrated? Underrated, yeah. <laughs> I feel like so many people would do that. I feel like, you know... Nowadays, what? it don't yeah. fucking matter. Like, yeah. you, you just, honestly, I value honesty so much more. Like, if you're a, if you're a boss, right, and you come in to me, and, and I'm like, why did you move the last, like, two, three jobs, and you just said exactly what you said, yeah, I'd yeah. be, like, fucking very reasonable. He, yeah. You're a human being. I get yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. So, like, I, yeah. I, I think I, this is the first time in my life I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not going perspective wise like 
money. I'm trying to, and like my, per, I think happiness will bring money because I like, you know, yeah. it's now it's like the things that make me happy, I can't do. So like, yeah, I just wouldn't, yeah, I just wouldn't go into whatever it is. The next thing is expecting to, you know, find it right away. No, 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 no. I just, yeah. But also I'm not, I'm not one of those people that can just like quit and just sit there and just like, let me figure it out. Yeah. I need to figure it out first. And even if it's not the right thing, at least I have a, yeah, I mean, it, it's good know. to figure it out regardless, but I'm just saying, like, once you're in it, once you have it figured out, <clears throat> understand that you probably don't have it figured out. Well, yeah, you know? I mean, that's that's life. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get a little thought experiment going or something to try to figure out. Or Heather just gets rich and I can just do nothing. Isn't that the dream? Marry rich? Yeah. I guess. Not Imagine really. you can marry rich, but she's like, Keep doing what you want, but I, if you need money, yeah, come see me. It would be kind of nice. It'd be though. nice. Like imagine you could get what's cracking big dogs. I don't Fuck think I could you. like do that though. I don't think I could like take someone else's money to build something. I would feel weird. But what if she's like, what's the point like of getting fraud? No, no. What about if it's like you don't need investments because like I'm the investor, but you still do your content, you're growing it. It's not like she's just like that's or he. I mean, I guess that would here. be fair. Assuming that, but I would like give her. Yeah, no, no, the company. she's oh, would be yeah. a very real investor. Oh, for sure. Like also, I, I don't know. Like she, I don't, I don't know who we're hypothetically talking about. So it's like if it if it's a business partner, if she was like bring value to the company, sure. But like, I was thinking about say if I won like the a mega million, right? I'm like Nick, we don't need investments. I'm here. Like, would you take that, or you'd be like, no, you're gonna want too much, or like, if you, you just you, like, gave me money straight up, no, I wouldn't take it. Oh, no, I would I would take money if I needed money. No, I'd be like, here's X amount of money, but I want 25%. Silent partner. Shake this hand. <laughs> yeah, but like... Would that, you? That's that's the contract. But why would I... T- I, I could do that now if I wanted to. Yeah, but you're doing with me. I'm a motherfucking boy, dude. Right, but I'm but I'm saying like, why would that... I don't understand how... Because like, you would have no stress. Like, you know where the money's... Coming. Like, it's a big amount. Like, you know, we ain't, we ain't worried about nothing. That's fair. I don't know if you know? I want to take it from you. Really? Not that. Not like pit, no. I was like raising money. I wouldn't be like I, I'm going to take 100 percent of the money I'm taking is from Steve. Why wouldn't you? I don't know. You don't trust me. <laughs> wouldn't it be about me not trusting this you. This is exactly what it's about. It has nothing to do with. But that. Then why wouldn't you take it? I just feel weird taking that amount of money. You just had to call me daddy. <laughs> like <laughs> I already said no. Why would you you throwing that on top of it make me more inclined? I'm so unhappy. Now I'm not taking any of your money. You'll never invest. What are you doing this weekend? Working. Let's not even do that. Let's not even do that. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what do well, we have for dinner? Well, I didn't have... Uh, oh, I was actually going to ask... Skirt, you, what were you saying? Uh, <laughs> skirt, no, there's something good in that, that line. No, I was going to say uh, I had a, a big day coming on Monday... Or so I thought. What was a big day? <laughs> and then my friend canceled on me. Threesome. Uh, no, I would still have a twosome if that if one of my friends canceled on me okay. for that. Someone it was just big plans. It was about to be a big day. Really excited for it. Canceled. You know why? Because work got in the way. Just another fucking work <laughs> getting in the way. <laughs> What is that? Like, why are you laughing? <laughs> because we just talked for 20 minutes about how work is ruining your life. Was it me canceling on you? No, no, no. Someone uh, else. Wait, what, dude? Monday, asshole. What happened Monday? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. No, but it was Wednesday. Woo! Uh, that's the fucking app. <laughs> Fuck you. you Fuck, I didn't get it. You, it took me so long. You, I was big, like, <laughs> you big dumb bitch. <laughs> You just you're so stupid. <laughs> yeah. You really Woo. no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> what? Um, food wise, <laughs> I was gonna ask you your process when you go onto a food app. Okay. Because I really like I didn't think of this from like a gluten perspective because you're celiacs, but I was more so just like intrigued by how people's uh process goes when they go onto a food so app. So before I go on an app also, real quick, sorry. Uh, how is every picture like? Do you think DoorDash goes around and like has photographers that work for them that take these pictures? No. So you think they're like you can't come on our platform unless you have every fucking picture in here is crispy and like beautiful? Oh, well, and they're maybe. all from the actual place. Like all these food. My DoorDash doesn't look like that when I'm in New Jersey. 
oh well this shit's fire yeah. so that might be a new york thing <laughs> no i mean dude, this is everywhere like you go onto any of the uber eats or the door dashes or whatever and every picture is like really really well done i think these people just go on google images no dude this is their actual food i'm telling you no yes like you don't know that uh, yes, cause every time I've ordered it from it, it looks exactly like. Oh, that. the hot dog looks like the hot dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're being a fucking moron. You know, some people on DoorDash have like four different accounts. Yes, yes, bro. Th- that fucking. I don't know if I'm actually mad about it or I'm Did like. Talk about this before. Respect the hustle. I've talked about right. it with someone else okay. because there's a bakery that has four different fucking shops on DoorDash, and it pissed me off because we didn't order from it one night because it took like 75 minutes to get to us even though it was down the block yeah and they were like oh we're gonna go from a different place same fucking place different name and they've had like three or four of them now because now when i i I make sure i go to like pick up so it it shows you the address so it's you fucking do it i'm like yo they probably make bank dude it's smart that's what chuck e cheese did it's really smart i wonder though if they have like chester's pizza and then people were ordering the pizzas yeah that's smart but i want you probably have to pay per each spot though like yeah but what is that like who cares like you're people getting, who have a fucking budget care. How much get could with it, it? I need a job. <laughs> I need a DoorDash job. Big job. You could be a, a DoorDasher. Yeah. would be sick. I'd order from you every night. But how you could be I, a photographer guy from DoorDash. That's enough out of you. <laughs> how do you figure? But I'm on before, a I go, before I go <laughs> before I go on a on an app, I sit there. What and, are you gonna do about the heat in here? You, you you're sweltering, right? Yeah. You you have a sweat here, beads. Yeah. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Should I keep going or are we done? No, no, no go. <laughs> are you sure? Just like the MJ flu game right now. <laughs> so I sit there and I think like, am I in a mood for fish? Am I in a mood for wings? Am I in a mood for burgers? So you like pick the protein first? Yeah, I have to. Interesting. And then I go right into it and I don't search anything else. Because then you, just, you have too many options, you, then you sit there way too long. That's interesting. I don't think I ever go into it with a mindset. You have to. I think How long do you sit there? How many things just are in your cart for no reason? I'm not a big cart guy. No? I, I just look at the pictures because I'm like, this is exactly what I'm going to get if I order it, so I don't need to go any deeper. I guarantee you, you if we order from Quality Eats, that meal, it, it would look not exactly look like, like that. We can't. I'm going to do it I like now. literally everything on that plate with glue. <laughs> yeah, literally, you physically can't. I'm getting it now. It's going to be sick. And I'm going to read to take the picture. Okay, that's enough. This is enough. That's enough. That's enough. Shut your whole ass up. I saw Jason. T- oh, I'm not doing this. Dude. I don't even know who Jason is. <laughs> I forgot where we're like. Okay. Say say one night like good ending quote. <laughs> About what? Just like when say this was like a story time, and it's the last page, and it's like say something. It's say Friday something. night in New York City. We get to watch the next Saw movie. <laughs> this is this is an all time night. I've won. You're not. You're not. Action. Yeah. Why? Who fucked up this wouldn't week? Wouldn't be the first. Wouldn't be the first time in the last three days that someone didn't uh, hit it. Um, animal. The whole Watch, show. I'll send you. I'm going to send you the fade the public from this week, and yeah. I'll give you the timestamp. It's actually a hilarious clip of like 35, 40 seconds. We're like 16 minutes into it, and then you see Animal like look. <laughs> gives one of those faces, <laughs> and then he goes and like clicks the record button, and it turns from green to red, yeah. and then he's just like, shit. And it's like, it's the first thing that's said into the mic when it's like the new audio oh, again. No. It's really funny. Yeah. I knew, I knew we fucking did. I'm like, because we, we were setting it up and I was like, you got him. I was doing the camera and I was like, animal, you know what to do over there? Cause he, he uses that for animal's house and all yeah, the shit so of his thing. So I was like, oh, vet. you know, it's not like me telling you or like snacks or someone to yeah. like, be like, yo, do the technical side of shit, you know, figure animal can handle it. Couldn't get it. Couldn't Can't get, get it. No one can handle anything. It's all, it's all on fucking me. Got to do it all. Got to click all the buttons. <laughs> You're a big button clicker. I'm a big button guy. Even though you're wearing all the buttons today. Looking snazzy. That was good. It's Sunday. That was awful. Do it again. <laughs>